So today we are wrapping up our series on the believer's authority. There's a fourth message in the series. Last Sunday we spoke about uh, delegated authority, the authority that we have that has been delegated to us in the name of Jesus. The fifth dimension to our spiritual authority, which we will, we will talk about today, we, we're calling it empowered authority or authority because of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The authority you and I have over things around us, over circumstances, situations, demons, uh, whatever the devil does, because of the anointing. So each one of us as believers, we have the Holy Spirit indwelling in us and resting on us. So that is the anointing, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus did his ministry, carried out his earthly ministry by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. Notice once again, God anointed Jesus with what? With the Holy Spirit and power. So what is the anointing? It's the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. All the good works that Jesus did, he did by the anointing, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 12, verses 28 and 29. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds a strong man? Then he will plunder his house. So how did Jesus cast out demons? By the Spirit, by the anointing, by the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. He cast out demons. Now what Jesus did is, he made it very clear that we believers would also have the Holy Spirit working through us. Now, I just want us to think about this. The same Holy Spirit. When we say Holy Spirit, we're talking about God the Spirit. Who anointed Jesus and worked through Jesus. Is also dwelling in every believer. And anoints us and works through us. The same Holy Spirit. Are you listening? Amen? The same Holy Spirit who works through Jesus is indwelling every believer and works through every believer. So you and I as believers need to know that. There may be evil spirits in the world, but I got the Holy Spirit who's dwelling in me and He was in me is greater, stronger, more powerful than the demonic powers that are in the world. Acts 1.8, Jesus said, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Meaning the same power that he walked under, he's saying, you will receive it when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. I want us to understand this, that the Holy Spirit works through us the same way he worked through Jesus. We can expect the Lord to do greater things. You say, ah, do you mean to say you're greater than Jesus? No, 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 we're not just saying, we're not saying. It's the great Jesus who's doing it, still doing it through us. Just two more things on what to expect. Isaiah 10 and verse 27 tells us that his burden, Isaiah 10, 27, his burden will be taken away and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. So what can the anointing do through you? Through you, the Holy Spirit can remove the burdens that are on people's lives and destroy the yokes that are on them. So you, you and I expect that. So people come, they are burdened, maybe in depression, anxiety, fear, or oppressed in some way. Just remember, the anointing is in you, upon you. The Holy Ghost is upon you. And He can work through you to remove those burdens and break the yokes that are on their lives. And one last one. What else can the anointing do through you and me? Isaiah 59 and verse 19. It tells us here that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. So the enemy comes in very powerfully, like a flood. What can the Holy Spirit do? He can raise up a 
barrier and stop what the enemy is doing. And he can do it through you. The Holy Spirit can do it through you. And if you and I, by faith, will step out and exercise authority, whether it's over circumstances, situations, whether it's over to help people or in your own personal life, you can expect the Holy Spirit to do the work. If you feel the enemy coming hard against you, expect the Spirit of the Lord to raise up a standard against him. 